Hi, this is Pawan Kumar, Faculty of Economics in Sri Yamaga Junior College, Hyderabad. Today we are going to discuss three topics. One, regarding the question paper pattern of intermediate public examination economics. And two, how we are going to manage time for economics in that three hours. And three, we are going to conclude with junior intermediate important questions. So coming to the presentation, first you can see question paper pattern. You have three sections, section A, B, C, and you can see four columns, number of questions to attempt, question type, marks per answer, and total marks. So section A, you need to write three out of five essay answers, and you, you are going to get 10, for, 10 marks for one question. And section B, you are going to write eight out of 12 questions, and which are short answer type, you are going to get five marks per question. And section C, you are going to write 15 out of 20 questions which are very short answer type which carries two marks each so total it will be 100 marks and coming to how to start your examination my advice to you is start with section c so that you can answer 15 questions in just 30 minutes that means you need to take two minutes for each and every question just write that questions in three lines two to three lines take two to three lines for each and every question so that you can finish your section c in 30 minutes more you will have two and a half hours now second you need to go for section a then you should write three 10 marks questions normally people takes 20 minutes to write one particular uh, essay question but you you need to uh, answer it in 15 minutes itself okay if not if in the worst case if you take 20 minutes also within 60 minutes you are going to finish your three essay questions okay coming to next section b means finally you need to write the lengthiest section called section b where you need to write eight questions which carries five marks each so that you are going to get 40 marks in the last 90 minutes but my advice to you is take 10 minutes for each and every five marks question so that in 80 minutes you are going to finish off your section b coming to cumulative analysis if you see now how you have uh, you have written the examination first you wrote section c you took that you took 30 minutes you got 30 marks next you are writing section a you took 60 minutes and you got 30 marks means one and a half hour you are going to get 60 marks and that will make you to write section b in a very good way so that in 80 minutes you can get 40 marks remaining 40 marks then in 170 minutes you are going to get 100 marks you are going to attempt 100 marks full so remaining last 10 minutes will be used for revision this is how you are going to write your exam now coming to important topics uh, before examination what you need to refer especially this is for junior intermediate you can see for section a you people need to concentrate more on law of diminishing marginal utility law of equi marginal utility law of variable proportions law of returns to scale price determination under perfect competition and monopoly national income concepts and measurement of national income keynesian theory sir how to attempt this you people need to first write introduction then you people should write definition then you need to draw first you need to write an assumption after assumptions you need to draw a schedule explain that schedule then you need to go for the graph graphical presentation then you need to explain the graph and then conclusion this is the best way to answer 10 marks question you need to take three pages minimum to write 10 marks question so that you can get 10 out of 10 then you can go for section b section b if you see the important topics to be covered difference between micro and macro economics characteristics of wants types of utility superiority of scarcity definition properties of indifference curve factors that determine demand reasons for negative slope of demand curve income and cross elasticity factors of supply relation between ac and mc curves characteristics of oligopoly and monopolistic competition factors that determine real wages list out the items of public expenditure factors that determine national income public revenue redemption methods of public debt types of budget deficit functions of money difficulties of barter system functions of commercial banks relationship between economics and statistics and lawrence curve these are the important topics to be covered for five marks questions 
Sir, how to present 5 marks question? You need to write 5 marks question minimum 1 page. You need to take 1 page to write. My advice to you is you can write in 6 points. You need to take some 6 points to answer 5 marks. At least if you write 1 point mistake, you can get full marks. Coming to section C. Section C, it's advisable to read all the 2 marks questions in your Telugu Academy textbook. But if you feel tough, you can go through glossary, which is known as a synopsis. You can go through it it will be easy for you to learn that questions uh, so that section e section c can be completed soon this is how you are going to uh, attempt your paper so guys all the best and keep followers on facebook for any further doubts you can please message uh, put a message in facebook and even regarding other subjects followers in facebook sriyamaga junior college